All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, you will be watching this video when I will be uh, uh, far away around uh, the world. Uh, this is a scheduled video, so you will see it on time. And the reason I don't want you to stay without knowledge and information in the same time without tools to expose the cult of Islam. <clears throat> In the front of us, we have a very famous verse the Muslims always use. Try to fool us about the meaning of this verse. Now, <clears throat> the appearance, appearance of this verse, it says it clearly that there is no, uh, you know, you don't force people to um, for religion. This is what it says, you know. But is it really what it's meant? Or the meaning is something else? You know, <clears throat> uh, in my previous seminar, I told you I used an example that first time I heard that American they eat hot dogs I was disgusted I said to myself American are really sick they eat hot dogs and this is exactly today what we are facing the Muslims they fool your lack of knowledge about the Arabic language and what is behind the verses so today we are going to make this short video so you can share it around and we can expose the lies Muslims they spread all over and I hope the Muhammadan who they are listening they accept the challenge to prove me wrong you see I nothing nothing of my own the reference the proofs the books all is Islamic so this is the verse in the front of us this is a chapter 2 verse number 256 and this is the Muslim translation I have nothing to do with it and now we will go to something else <coughs> this is the hadith which is behind the verse. All right? This is what is behind this verse. Narrated Abdullah ibn Abbas, he said, <clears throat> when the children of women in the pre-Islamic days, which means those are not Muslims yet, uh, did not survive, she took a vow of herself, and uh, if her child survived, she she would she uh, would convert convert it a Jew. All right. So based on this story, that some some uh, uh, some women who they are suffering from issues, maybe uh, their kids' illness, etc. So she trusted the God of the Jews, he Israel, and he did miracles already, obviously. And she make a promise: if her son survive, he will be a Jew. So when Banu Nadir were expelled from Arabia, remember we are talking about a verse saying there is no conclusion in religion. <laughs> but Banu Nadir is expelled from Arabia. <laughs> oh right. So there is no conclusion, but we expel them, right? Okay, this is not an this is not, you know, and there's many people of Banu Nadir they've been forced into Islam too. <clears throat> now, there were some children of Al Ansar or helpers among them. Among who? Among Banu Nadir, the Jews. How those children they became between them, according to the story? Because those women, they made their children convert to be Jews. They said, We shall not leave our children. So Allah. The exalted revealed, let there be no conclusion in religion. Truth stand out clear from error. <clears throat> so this is not about not to force somebody to convert to Islam, it's the opposite. Those are children who their mothers Make a vow that if my son, and nobody actually here is forcing anyone. As you see, it's volunteer. They are the one, the women, she made a vow. If the God of the Jews, he made her son survive, he will follow the God of the Jews. And this is why the verse is revealed. The Muslims, they try to fool us and make tons of articles saying that this verse is about not to force someone to convert to Islam when the fact it's the opposite. And as you see, here in the same story, he expelled 
people from Arabia why he expelled the Jews for they refuse Islam why he expelled the Christians and the Jews you know Muhammad he said in the hadith if I will be victorious I promise I vote to expel the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula let me get you the hadith in the front of your eyes all right okay let us go <clears throat> so where is the you know where is the no conclusion in religion <laughs> this guy this is why there's no Christians there is no Jews in Saudi Arabia until now there is secretly unless you are working there in the working visa but there is no citizen not, not allowed so what is the no conclusion have you ever heard of a country have zero Christian zero Jews zero Hindus zero atheist zero gay <laughs> is that because there's no conclusion in religion <laughs> obviously this guy is Hitler this is exactly what Hitler he did with the Jews die or run for your life so this is what this verse is about and when the Muslims try to lie to you about it now you have enough tools to show them that they are lying if most if Islam is not about forcing people why you want to expel the Jews and the Christians you see he is not saying all the Christians have to be expelled like what all of them they are guilty to, to Muhammad what they did Everybody, women, children, everybody, old, everybody have to expel. Why? For Muhammad was doing religious cleansing, genocide based on religion. You don't accept me, I kill you all. And this is what it says in chapter 9, verse number 73 and 74. Even he vow to kill even those Muslims who refuse to stay as Muslims. This is why Muhammad he said, "Man, uh, the one uh, who changed his religion, kill him." But where is you know how how uh, how we can mix those things together? How there is no conclusion in religion, but yet the one who leaves Islam we kill him. What is the war of apostate then? And as you see here, the one is talking is Muhammad. This is not somebody understand. This is not Zakir Naik. Who have wrong understanding because he is a funny uh, Abdul and this is Sahih so who you know don't make the Muslims fool you every Muhammadan is a lying machine walking between us and the purse the, the, the purpose of all those lies is to conquer your mind and make you believe that Islam is not what you think and as you see it says in the front of you this is Sahih so what they will say it's weak and by the way even the weak hadith is correct weak it means it pass it's accepted you can go and search for Sheikh Hamza speaking about weak hadith Sheikh Hamza is a well-known Muslim teach Muslims and he was making fun of the stupid Abdul who keeps saying this hadith is weak he said I, I quote what he said he said when we say weak hadith, that's mean it pass. It did not funk. <laughs> However, those what we are quoting for you are not weak. They did not funk. You funk Muslims. It did not. You see this hadith I'm reading for you about the story of uh, the women they vote to convert their children to Islam. It is sahih. Do you see? It's sahih. Allah, Allah Akbar. <laughs> Now what they will say, they will say Christian Prince is fabricating hadith. You show them from their own books, you show it in the screen, you give the reference, you give the proof, and still they say he is lying. I mean, who is the stupid here? In China they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And I believe that statement was about everyone who believe in the cult of Islam. So it's your choice to stay as a donkey or try to improve yourself and be a horse. Some of them, they are now between 
which means they are in the stage of a mule. Thank you very much for watching and more videos to come. Every few days you will have a, a, a new video. So you stay remember me. And I'm going to pause videos actually during my trip, but those videos, they will be like um, maybe in the street or the airport or like, you know, uh, just to update you about my trouble. Those here now is to keep you uh, informed and uh, to, to give you more tools to fight the cult of the Mohammedan. Thank you very much. Feel free to download the video, share it around. And I hope soon I will be back and we will do the live podcast as usual so we can fight the lies together. And trust me, I don't hate Muslims. Even Muslims, they hate me. Actually, if you hate somebody, you let him stay in his ignorance. This is why I don't want to let the Muslims stay in their ignorance. I might say Muslims are dumb or dump. I mean it both. Because garbage in, garbage out. The second you are believing in a lie, when it is the opposite, what it's meant, it's mean you decide to be dump and dumb. So which one is you? Or you want to be a smart person and believe the true stories in the front of your eyes as the Muslims they give to us. Not the fictions they write in their articles to fool those who speak other languages. You cannot fool us. We are the Arab. And we know your God very well. For he is an Arabian God stolen from the Arami God. It's, let's say, it's an aftermarket copy, counterfeit copy of someone else's God. This is why the Muslims, if we ask them what Allah means, they do not even know. Every day I start my live podcast, I ask Muslims what Allah means. They don't know. For this is a foreign name. It's a stolen name for a God, which is not an uh, is not is not uh, is not real. It's a fiction God which worshipped by many other nations before Muhammad. Thank you very much for watching, and see you soon again with a new video. God bless.